boy. I'm thinking I just might need this wishbone with all the baloney about to be dished out in this command performance today. employees meeting is starting during your lunch hour, I am sure you'll be glad to know that it's going to end on company time. I'm pleased to remind you that last year at this time, with John Iberg as firm chairman, all but a few of us showed his pride in this fine city by contributing to Tulsa's community chest through payroll deduction. The question today is how much should we increase our pledges to the United Fund for next year? To speak to us on this question, we have two outstanding Tulsans with us today. Charlie Thornton, General Campaign Manager, and Ed Nebling, our guest speaker and a prominent figure in radio and television, as well as community chest work. Ed? Thank you, T.D., uh, and folks, I'm glad to represent the United Drive and talk to you on Tulsa, the face setter, before this group that has such a very fine giving record. So join me, won't you, through the magic eye of the camera on a heartwarming tour. Tulsa is truly a pace setter among cities. Its beauty and cleanliness combined with the go-go progress charms all who know it. The old cars provide a sharp contrast with the fast pace of modern Tulsa. The foundation for our new library was nearing completion last year when the assembly center was dedicated. Today, the post office and federal building is well underway and is graced by the elegant library that adjoins it. Credit for this march of progress is due just about everybody including the good cooperation of labor and management. Many sizable buildings are popping up in all sections, a number of them of the skyscraper class. Tulsa is a church city. A memorial window in downtown Trinity is a tribute to the United Drive, a gift in memory of the first community chess chairman. The Ten Commandments of Temple Israel remind all of the highest law. All are proud of our fine schools and universities. During the summer, in the shadow of the 40,000-seat Skelly Stadium expansion, leaders and member agencies told the United Drive story. The workers' hats were hard, but their hearts were soft as they responded to the job site kickoff solicitation. Another fine example of chest support was the crew at the physician's building. Corporate executive Harry Williams and Jim Gillen, executive secretary of the Building Trades Council, devotedly served as co-chairman of the United Drive's new building construction division. Several buildings near completion at the exciting Oral Roberts University. Main Mall downtown has a unique beauty and attraction. The new Southland Shopping Center is one of many fine centers. It boasts ornamental lights, fountains, and flower gardens. Spring or fall, Tulsa tops them all for wonderful living. Today, with its many fine lakes, eastern Oklahoma is a refreshing oasis. Numerous dams provide welcome flood control. Governor Bellman, United States government officials and congressmen attended the dedication. Whether the need is for first aid or costly disaster assistance, 
Your Red Cross is there. It was Good Friday, an hour of tragedy as one of the mightiest earthquakes cracked across the southern base of Alaska. Destruction like this took place in minutes, and then the Red Cross promptly responded on your behalf by a call to action. Red Cross workers brought understanding and compassion and joined other agencies and forces to provide emergency mass care for over 11,000 disaster victims. The Red Cross provided housing and replaced homes, appliances, and supplies. Hurricanes roared inland along coastal areas in Florida and elsewhere wreaking destruction in their path. Thousands of evacuees seek Red Cross shelters where emergency mass care is immediately available. In a single hurricane, the Red Cross estimated 3,000 families needed help. What families had built, nature had destroyed. The Ohio River in 24 hours rose more than 16 feet to flood stage. More than 25,000 people were fed, clothed, sheltered, or given emergency medical and nursing care in the Red Cross shelters. Mennonites, serving as Red Cross volunteer carpenters, joined with caseworkers to assist families in repairing and rebuilding homes. You were there through your United Drive support. While the families provide camp fees and uniforms, chest funds pay the major cost of administration, office, and professional services. The staff makes possible the efficient use of the thousands of scout volunteers. Pale-faced scouts practice Indian dance with authentic powwow music. The more than 100,000 Boy Scouts who have been served by the local council prove that scouting builds better men. Let's keep them marching forward. The Traveler's Aid and Salvation Army team up to assist a stranded family of 11 return to their California home. Thousands of needy persons are helped annually by these two chest-supported agencies. Girls with serious behavior problems annually benefit from the Good Rehabilitation Program at St. John Vianney Training School. Following a successful demonstration period, the Red Shield Boys Club now operates a growing extension program. This new chest agency at 28th and North Denver fills an area need. During the past year, about 10,000 Girl Scouts experienced the fun of growing, learning, and associating with others under qualified leaders. The Tulsa Area Safety Council works with all groups concerned with making our city a safer one. Their program includes safety at school, home, traffic, work, and play. The Francis Willard Home provides fine care for girls from broken homes. They are taught home skills and attend public school. With chess support, over 100 boys, mostly from broken homes, received the best of care at the Tulsa Boys Home last year. The boys attend public school and learn various trades at the home to assist them in becoming self-supporting citizens. When serious problems break up family life, everybody gets hurt. The wife, the children, the husband. Employers lose too. Through professional counseling, family and children's service helps hold homes together. This agency also provides foster home care 
and adoption service. Several thousand Tulsa girls grow toward fine womanhood through the campfire program. Be happy and I hold within me the promise of the future are watchwords. They have fun while learning under able leaders. The Tulsa County Heart Association is an affiliate of the Oklahoma and American Heart Associations. Much of Chest Grant goes to heart clinics at Hillcrest and St. John's Hospitals to balance for local and national research. The Tulsa County Association for Mental Health has programs of patient services, professional and public education. The Public Health Nursing Service provides many services under doctor's orders. The Arthritis Foundation services include research, education, and a clinic at Hillcrest Medical Center. Hundreds of needy cancer patients receive fine service at St. John's Tumor Clinic. The trained staff of the Salvation Army Home and Hospital assists unmarried mothers to find a better way of life. The Council of Social Agencies works with citizen groups, such as this Mayor's Committee, to best meet the health and welfare needs of our community. The YWCA varied programs enrich girls of all ages. What is it worth to our city to have over 12,000 different youth busy in the many Y activities? The Central YMCA and its neighborhood branches cover the city with their character and bodybuilding services. The Recreation Center for the Physically Limited provides understanding and companionship for several hundred children and adults. With the cooperation of the Downtown Lions Club and the Tulsa YMCA, many members experience the joys of camp life for the first time. Many thousands give service as well as money to Tulsa's United Drive. Examples are this budget committee that spent weeks reviewing agency requests line by line, the ad club on publicity, and certified public accountants on audits. The United Way ensures efficient management and holds campaign expense to only three and one half percent. Now let's hear a short but a very important message from our campaign chairman, Mr. Charlie Thornton. Charlie? Thank you, Ed. TD, it's been a pleasure to be out here to lunch with your fine group of people and for everybody that's helped TD and TD Williams and company do the fine job they have in the past. As you all can imagine, we're trying to figure out ways, new ways, and, and any way to help support these 44 agencies. This year we have three more agencies than we've had in the past. I noticed two things in TD's introductory remarks there. One I'd like to point out is the word pride. I think all of us are proud to live in Tulsa and have these various agencies doing the support for the community that they are. Can you all imagine what it would be like to live in this community without the YMCA, the Salvation Army, and the Campfire Girls, and these many, many other agencies? To have set to have sat in on some of the budget meetings and so forth and listened to the stories of the Francis Willard home and why they would like to take in four more girls. And it just really challenges you and all of us that are connected with this campaign as to what can we do to raise this extra money. The other question was how much extra money? Just more baloney. I have a chart over here on my right that, as you will know, says $1,650,000. As Chairman Thornton explains that the 1% club members pledge 1% or more of salary after taxes and fair share giving means one half of 1% after taxes, let us cut in on Southwestern Bell's 1964 final report to their soliciting group. Then we'll return for the Chairman's closing statement.
folks, Jack McGee and I want to express our sincere thanks for a job well done and give you our drive results. We appreciate your good service and enthusiasm in the recent drive. You have again demonstrated that telephone people are responsible and concerned citizens. Jack, as president of Local 6012 of CWA, I think you agree that the cooperation of management and labor was tops in the United Drive. How do you feel about it? I fully agree, Don Schaefer. All pitched in and met their community chest responsibility. The results prove what good cooperation can do. These charts show our outstanding results. Of our 1,385 total employees, 1,324 pledged the United Way. Total employee giving exceeded $39,000, making the per employee gift over $28. This is an increase of 35% over last year, thanks to our generous givers. United Drive 1% Club. Of 1,324 contributors, 540 gave 1% or more, over 40% of total. This record shows a fine job done in selling United Drive, services that benefit everybody. We're all proud of our 100% flag. After that challenging report, let's pick up Charlie Thornton's closing remarks. This million six hundred and fifty thousand dollars we would like to break up in many small segments. Keep pace with Tulsa. Pledge your fair share. Thank you. While the firm chairman and his assistants are passing out the pledge cards, keep your eye on Doubting Tom and his wishbone. They have a lot of nerve asking for a fair share pledge from me. I take care of my charity giving at home. Tom, you mean you support the United Drive agencies at home? Who are you? I'm your good conscience fairy. I think you're going to need four wishes rather than the usual three. Oh, more baloney. I wish I was under the shade tree at home. Tom, the wishbone. Okay, I'll go along with the gang. It worked, it worked. giving at home, and less than half of the 44 United Drive agencies are here now. at the plant. I wish I had my pledge card back. Now I know one hour's pay per month is truly a bargain. And without the community chest, it would be a real nightmare. One wish left. I wish the United Drive goes over the top. It will, Tom. Thanks to you and thousands of other good guys also pledging fair share.